I'm gonna start in on a count of three. So one, two, three. Und somit betreten wir diese geheiligte oh. Stadt. Hi everyone, by the way. Thanks to Lucky. An so einem Ort kriege ich Gänsehaut. Nach ihm. I just need to remember the secrets, man. Just secrets for Cambodia, isn't it? Yeah. So there's dialogue skips in this race Big. of level where some of them you ha you can instantly skip, some of them you can't, and uh, <clears throat> if you do them too fast or too fast, cause usually get extra dialogue on different spots. Uh, for secrets, it's, That's there's only few of those yeah for the first like is it just Cambodia or it's just golden skulls yeah yeah no it goes back to like item secrets like there's yeah. gold the skulls skulls on Cambodia or in Cambodia and then I think last seven secrets I... in the run or in the game actually are collectibles as well, Hello. and everything else is just you step on a tile. That's how it goes. Oh think... yeah, yeah. So it kind of goes back to like. I just did play yeah. I don't remember. Even I did last week ago. Well, that tomb read the knowledge stuff in your head messes with it. Yeah, it is. <laughs> and there's a new skip on this area where you can skip the monkey bar being glitched completely it skipped like 55 seconds um, compared to the monkey bar okay we are having an interesting start for the swim bike which i just practiced like 10 minutes ago <laughs> <laughs> and learned it <sighs> Still got that toxic corner. <clears throat> nice. So, this is the skip. It's a precise, or oh, somewhat precise angle. You sprint dive on the corner and it flips you up. Normal corner bug doesn't work for whatever reason. I don't really know why. The way I do runs, I just take the strats and do the run. <laughs> Don't ask questions. <laughs> uh, strats first, questions later. Only ask questions if something doesn't work. Yeah. <laughs> and there's a sprint manage. You can see the sprint bar stop for a little bit when I start sprinting, usually, if it's a longer distance. And that's called extender sprint, where I let go of sprint key for a few frames and then start holding it, which gives you a little bit extra distance for the sprint. <clears throat> now we see where Mac she got the backpack. The backpack. Yeah. <laughs> Is this how she got her backpack? <laughs> and when I get out of the crawl space, when I exit this area. On German version, the Von Kroy doesn't have the time to tell, oh, a backpack. German translation or dub is a bit slower. I think I got all secrets so far, yeah. There's one on the way out, isn't there? Yeah. And then I just need to remember to take the last secret before the dialogue, so I get the hard race. <laughs> just casually taking a backpack off a um, skeleton. That's totally not bad juju. Yeah. And also, there's a trick. Even in all secrets, um, you can still get the easy route by tricking the game. Uh, you call like seven secrets, you trigger the dialogue with Von Croy, make sure he moves to the keyhole and then get the last secret. You have time to get back. 
um, and that's how you avoid doing the hard race in, like if you do actual speed runs. Tauchen Sie durch die Öffnung. Tauchen Sie durch die Öffnung. Drücken Sie springen, um eine Tauchrolle auszuführen. And I'm gonna grab this one so we can get the hard hard one. I'm surprised uh, you also den Garten, die okay. fünf Türme gefunden. I'm gonna do a glitch here, which zu rechten sehen Sie den Weg der really zu Ihrer Linken erkennen Sie den Pfad der Tugend. Which is uh, so mad glitch. Heute. Uh, so I have one large med kit left, and I have taken some damage. There is um, uh, I'm gonna go to inventory, uh, take the med via hotkey. And then manually, so I take one med twice. Yeah, I was gonna say I'm surprised actually. that um no one started taking the secret to save time. Well, just to buy time. Yeah. And you can do them the rope swing with uh without swinging there for days. Because you can hold sprint when you grab it and then jump at the peak of the swing. This is the hard route when Der you get all the secrets. Akt. Sie sind eine Musterschülerin, Lara, auch wenn sie die oberste Grundregel allen Abenteuers noch nicht kennengelernt hat. I thought the exact same, Eric. I was not gonna lie. <laughs> I was confused where he was then. I learned this route for this race, this race just before this run. So, Passen Sie gut auf sich auf, alter Mann. Ich werde keine Rücksicht nehmen. I'm gonna save a few times. <laughs> ich habe auch nichts There's anderes erwartet. Ich zähle bis drei. Eins, zwei, drei. 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 Ich zähle bis drei. Eins, That one, that's a hard one. Oh, not hard one, no. a bit tricky. Woman, so is the race different in the German version than the English version? Huh? Is the race different for the German no, it's version? Only, it's only different because I got all the secrets. Oh, okay. It's gonna you, say can I've I just never make seen it before. Past this bomb I don't wanna. I really don't wanna. <laughs> Who's behind him? He closes the doors. For some reason, when I did this first time, I felt like it's, it was impossible to win. It's not. Uh, it's only Cambodia. <laughs> so now I have unlimited meds because of the glitch. The med pack value goes to minus one, and I can just use meds. For this category, it doesn't really matter um, too much, but it's just a... Uh, it doesn't really do any bad either. You get, you get way faster menuing on the next level. I feel like this is like a whole new game. <laughs> just for the one race. Yeah, just for the race, that's it. And then I'll be more familiarized with it all. <laughs> and now we get to hear the legendary Mindbind. 
der sie entfernt. And then Lara yells, uh, alles alter Hokus Pokus. Vergessen Sie diesen Nonsens und kommen Sie hierher. Sie hat nichts mehr mit vergifteten Feinden. I love how he didn't say it in German. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't memorize that far. No. Yeah, I cannot say. I actually tried it once on stream and I just butchered it completely, so I gave up. <laughs> Ich bin der renommierte Archäologe und Abenteurer Werner von Kreu und Sie werden tun, was ich sage. Gehen Sie zur Wand und Toilet Sie den Himmel. Yeah. Wie war das doch vorhin gleich? Mangelnder Respekt ist der direkte Weg zur Sorglosigkeit? Gott, wie ermüdend. Legen Sie endlich den Hebel um, Miss Croft. Auf Ihre Verantwortung, Herr von Kreu. Oh yeah, the game... Starts pretty low or slow, but it starts picking up on like third, fourth level, and then yeah. it really gets crazy. Like you, it's like Cambodia is like all your levels. Uh, yeah, it's like one third of the run yeah. now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's all the levels, and then as soon as it gets to Kalanak, that's when like you jump to your second visits. Finnish version. Loading zone, so like uh, on the first frame of most levels, you can move Lara, even though you're not supposed to. And when I hold up key, she moves closer to the flare pack I'm gonna pick up just a little bit. The same strat in you is used in uh, Alexandria after train level. What were you gonna say, Poppy? I said just a little, <laughs> yeah, just a little. We only picked two flare packs. Okay, so you might see me do which looks like really pointless save. But it's extremely important for the for the warp. So I'm gonna do two setup saves for the warp, which I will only use later. To warp to the credits. <clears throat> and the first is coming up, it's on a specific tile. Oops, no, one saw that one. And it's here. Save there. And I'm gonna save on a different uh, spot just to make sure I won't overwrite it. I made a practice on backup saves, but just to make sure. actually new strat today which I could do well it's not really new strat is it it's like if you go here you can you can almost get to the item if you hug the very left side but you get insta kill uh, insta kill if you are a little bit off the line And this menuing is faster if you do the med glitch on the uh, first level. Normally, if you don't have a med glitch, you would have to menu, I think, three or four left. But with this one, it's only one. One, up, one right and one uh, down. two flares to embed ourselves into this slope and uh, hopefully get into the crawl space okay 
barely made it. I got in. I used a little faster lineup than the old one. The old one needs you tap a loop, which is a bit slower. Now we usually are all about the speed running. So now this level in introduces the first ult, which is advanced loop triggering. And we use binoculars to get on the cutscene triggers or loading zones. And uh, this one is a cutscene trigger. <clears throat> Save it there. So I'm gonna look at the trigger when there's no active entities on the map. I'm inside the wall and then the binoculars has the priority to trigger things. That's how Poppy played this game first time. <laughs> yeah, I never played it, I just did the binoculars straight away. About the automatic aim, if you alt for the game, it can corrupt your settings in game and can change the it can get changed in-game settings without letting you know or without you doing anything except Alder 4. So that's a... Uh, that's a thing. So we have around 3 minutes of cutscenes in Cambodia. Then we have that previous one. And then we have to wait inside a wall, like minute and 20 or something like that uh very soon because we are too lazy to finish actual level so we're just gonna use the game and the ai to finish the level for us which is faster because it cheats you can game is faster than you it's cheating. <laughs> yeah. And here, I'm gonna hold flare key. And what it does, Lara draws a flare, and the, the flares are on timer, which is 30 seconds in this game. And I need these flares. Oh, I need this flare to run out on a certain time before the next wall clip. Just so I can save time and the door opens. So that's why it's important to draw the flare on the first frame when you enter the level. <clears throat> so that door opens when we go inside the wall and we don't trigger any enemies. If you have any enemies all active or alive, you can't do that anymore. Oh, it's the same with the um, binoculars as well, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's basically the same any, thing. Um, we don't use binoculars. Any than uh, active, yeah. Mm. Yeah. I'm gonna save here. This is the place where I have to do a few saves to prepare for the warp and trigger the car. So first is gonna I'm gonna throw the camera out of the way and I'm gonna look on this certain type of roll. Save and load that tile. And now the car triggers. Now I have the pre uh, preparate. Oh, uh, how do you say it? The saves I needed to be done. Preparate. Yeah. Prepared. I guess. Prepared, you prepared saves. Save. Prepared saves. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you anymore. if you yeah. if you don't like that word, you can say like uh, pre-made saves. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I need this uh, top of set and this a back of little no, save not back of specific one. ones for the warp. And here we wait. Minute Maybe 20, you haven't had enough monster today. I still have my monster with me now to honor your run. <laughs> yeah, keep the cat chain. It's not a fruity run without going. an ultra rare monster. It, no. Yeah. I 
can remember the tone or the sound when the <laughs> or the loading zone. <laughs> <laughs> And this, I'm go I'm going through three levels in around less than two minutes if everything goes decent. Hopefully. So first, Karna, we don't really see much of it because we want to get to Hypostale Hall as fast as we can. And we do it from here. Um, you look on certain spot and you just draw guns and it just teleports you here. I honestly don't know exactly why it happens. I just know some stuff. As I said, I'm not a technical guy. And because Hypostale Hall is boring level, we can just go to <laughs> Sacred Lake in like 10 seconds. And uh, now we need to kill these scorpions. If you fall in that pit on my right. It spawns a scorpion really far away, actually. Oops. Nice aim. And, uh... <clears throat> I fell into that pit when I was learning the category first time, and I was trying for an hour to get this next binocular trick to work. And, uh... I couldn't make it work. And I didn't know why. Unless I think Dan's out, someone said that there's a trigger for. Can I just get this thing? This never gives me any struggle. Come on. Okay, nice. So we jump through the door. Eh? So that's how we can go fast. And here is another alt. We use binoculars to get to the next level. Usually you need to wait the previous flare to run out. Now because I failed it a few times, once I didn't need to wait at all. <clears throat> and this level is really interesting as well. You will see a lot of action. Pressing two buttons, climbing up and then <laughs> exiting the level. Very interesting. Yeah. And I'm gonna draw this flare early. So it runs out in time for the next trick. So this is three, four, five, six climb ups, and then you can backflip off. There's the mini game below me, but even if everyone loves it, I'm not doing it. This corner is <laughs> very useful. And as you can see, this game is mega broken, but I still find it fun to run because it is quite stupid. And this level has a trigger where it's a bit too far away to end level trigger. So I have to do a flare jump to jump into a wall and then use binoculars afterwards. Because binoculars only has a certain range. I don't remember which one is it, but it's not enough without the flare jump. So. Are you happy with um, the game with a Samacrat? Uh, yeah, it's sick. <laughs> and that's how we get to the train. This level is probably the trickiest one out of Closer to the splat. Yeah. But... This level is probably the hardest one and trickiest one, I think. Just because it has few tricky jumps. 
when you're doing like no save run. Just give the courtesy of flybys where the game shows you enemies are jumping onto things. Trigger skip. You can see the car coming. The game is supposed to have a camera show me that happening. I don't have time for it. <laughs> no time, got a speed run. Yeah. And here's a setup. Um, Those cave jumps always have me on edge. <laughs> what a runs dies. But here I did side step on against the edge. Started with walking jump into running jumps, and then it's just set up for this jump. But it's really precise. You need this exactly the correct boost of the door to make it. Oh, nice, Lara. And this is one of the run killers when she grabs one lower than she's supposed to. And I still haven't figured out why that happens sometimes. only pass. <laughs> uh, okay. Get that one. So here's another trick or oh, tricky jump. I did uh, avoid the trigger and this is the last one. Nice, no failed one. Here. And because Lara forgot which station she needs to get off, I'm gonna make it for her. And this is the step or stop. And I'm holding down key and flare here, so she moves against the fence. Flat. Because if I can do it, there's a chance I don't get in, which is fine. But it's a bit random, but works like sometimes. So we can alt here, nice, to the next level, which saves seven seconds. And if you don't get it, it loses you probably like ten. <laughs> well, you gotta go for it, okay? Here's another trick you can do uh, if you hack the wall. And jump on, jump on a certain spot. You can get a tunnel jump, which is when Lara travels further than you're supposed to, when the ceiling is certain height. No, 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 no. Yes, Lara. Um, yeah. You're not supposed to make that jump like that, that easy. Yeah, the the game ends very soon, so it's like 95% done already. <laughs> God, this game is so <laughs> sick. Well, they gotta get category rather. And now we can use another alt to get us to the uh, Temple of Isis, which is the last level we actually visit. Technically. Yeah, it is, yeah. Here's a setup I'm gonna do to get the certain binocular glitch, and then I'm gonna do certain. I'm gonna do it slow so I can kind of explain it. So let's save here. So I'm gonna go in the wall, do a binoculars, and I'm gonna buffer twice left one, two, and then two up. Let go, draw guns, roll, and then I'm gonna save the game, load it instantly, hold pause. Buffer once, and then I'm gonna hold F6, which is quick load. Buffer one load, and then I can sit. Uh, 
I can load a KV5 safe, which warps me to no space or void in Horus actually. So I'm gonna save here. Then we're gonna load Seth, Tomb of Seth save here. And then I'm gonna load this one and the run ends. And the game doesn't crash. <laughs> game crashed. <laughs> oh my god. Is this god. gonna happen with every game? You know, last game crash, this game crash? Oh. Is, it, is Tomb Raider Legend gonna crash next? Oh. Okay, we can do it. Load. And Horus. And the game should end now. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the first crash on this version. <laughs> Believe it or not. <laughs> I can't this believe it never happened before. <laughs> I, it actually never happened. <laughs> it only happened on the English version. This should be the tagline of the marathon. <laughs> but yeah, the game ended. I've... It's really insane now. GG. Yeah, GG. I can't believe this game is this quick now. Yeah. <laughs> but it's over. Too many credits. <laughs> oh, oh. At least I have Tomb Raider 2 on Monday. It's a longer run. So it has more gameplay. Yeah. yeah. But I wanted to showcase this front. It's more thoughtful. It's a really recent uh, discovery. And it's now happening Tomb Raider 4 and 5. Similar warps are done. Shortens the run so much. Just along with this trick, the run is now 26 minutes shorter. It's crazy. Yeah, we have now a new category which doesn't allow the warp at all. Just to have actually gameplay in the run. Well, that's about it. Tomb Raider 4 done in whatever. 30 minutes probably. Yeah, just over 30 minutes that one. Yeah. Mm -hmm.